Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Eve here. Today's video I'm very excited to do because I'm gonna be doing a full face of makeup application of all makeup, super high product from my recent Sephora shopping haul. The unboxing video of that shopping haul is already up on my channel. I can link it for you down below in the description box. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Eve and I love all things beauty. If that sounds like your thing, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any of my future uploads. Without any further ado, let's get into all the hyped Sephora products. This is my third attempt filming this video, guys. Obviously the first video was supposed to be first impressions on all these products that I'm going to be using today and obviously the first two tries didn't work out so well for one reason or another so it is definitely not a first impressions I've been playing with this product in the past several weeks I have done my makeup and you will see me applying it throughout this video however I will be chatting with you on all the products and how they wear how I like to apply them if that's something you're interested in continue watching. Okay. For my primer, I use the Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas. This is a deluxe size. I really like this product. I don't think it's anything revolutionary. However, it does smooth the skin really nicely and just have like a slight hydration. I am a combination oily skin and I do have some visible pores uh, on my T-zone and sometimes I do get texture on my chin here and on my cheeks. And I noticed that this is definitely beneficial in all of those circumstances because it definitely gives you that slight hydration and smooth as a complexion. For my foundation, I use the Best Skin Ever foundation by Sephora and my came in the shade 10N. This foundation is in a glass bottle and comes with a pump. I applied this foundation with a brush initially and then I learned that the best way to apply this on my face is with the dampened sponge and it goes on skin really nicely and smoothly as you guys could see. It gives you a really nice medium coverage and it is slightly buildable. I don't think you can build it up to a full coverage, but it is solid medium. It is a natural finish. But you can still see a skin texture. It is slightly smoothing and it doesn't accentuate any texture if you have any on your skin. And I definitely feel like my pores in this uh, zone right here are minimized. I forgot to mention just earlier that the Tatcha Primer is not pore filling. It is just smoothing and hydrating. So that's where this foundation came in and it definitely provided some smoothing effect. I do find that this foundation wears pretty well on my skin. It doesn't fade. It doesn't break down. It doesn't set into my smile lines or my fine lines. I really think this is a good foundation. I did, however, watch different reviews on this foundation and I know that the people with dry skin did not really like it because it would cling to their dry patches. I did not have that issue because I do have a normal skin type on a perimeter on my face and more oilier on my T-zone. So just something to keep in mind. To continue with my complexion, I applied my cream bronzer from this Play Bento Trio by Kaja and the bronzer is on the very bottom tray here, highlighter here, and the blush would be on the top section here. Mine is in the shade Buttercup 01. This is the lightest option out of, I believe, three that they came out with. There is 0.12 ounces of product. However, I just wanted to point something out that I recently went away for a weekend to Philadelphia with my boyfriend and I took this bento box with me and that's where I ended up using for all three, four days that we were there. It's showing the pan, you guys. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it is a huge dent here and I can see the pan showing through just very, very slightly. It is a small product. I did enjoy it, however. Let me tell you about the quality and how it applies. I definitely like that it is nice and creamy. It blends really effortlessly. I definitely think that this is a product that you cannot mess up. You cannot over apply it. It is pigmented, however, it's not overly pigmented. If you feel like you apply too much, all you need to do is just continue blending it and it will fade away. The texture is more on the lighter side, so I feel like I could definitely powder it down. It is creamy, but it's not too shiny. It does give you that beautiful, healthy glow, so you can easily leave it even even unpowdered. I do have a combination oily skin like I mentioned earlier so I do powder it down and I feel like it wears throughout the day 
pretty well. The Patrick Tar Blush Duo. Oh my God, isn't this absolutely gorgeous? The packaging is so luxury. It just feels luxury. It looks luxury. Mine is in the shade Do We Know Her. It is pigmented. It blends easily. You can definitely build up the color if you like to, but you can't mess it up. I feel like this product is high-end. However, I feel like any beginner would be comfortable using it. This is definitely spring and summer vibes for me. I absolutely love the quality and I really love how the packaging has this little clear plastic cover that covers the cream portion. The powder formula is really nice. It doesn't have a lot of fallout. I really like that it's not overly pigmented. I definitely will be using this product over the whole entire summer. My highlighter today, I also used the one from the Gaja Play Bento Box and I really like this guys. This, as you can see guys, it builds up really nicely. You can see how much glow I got. You guys know that I love my highlights beaming. I don't mind a subtle highlights, but on a most days I do prefer highlights that are really bright and I find that this one it gives you really good glow. You can go light-handed and just get a little bit of a shine and then if you want something that what I have on my face today, you can definitely just um, layer it up a little bit and it would give you what you want. This highlighter is firmly pressed and it doesn't create fallout, which is nice. And I do love that it's not glittery. It actually looks like it could be a little bit in the box at the first look. It does look like it could be glittery, but it is not. It just gives you really nice, flawless shine. I did not use the blush from the box today, but it is completely matte formula. I'll do a swatch for you guys. You can see how it is um, really nice and matte. And you guys see it is nicely pigmented. It is slightly powdery on the pickup. However, it does build up the color. It does blend very well. I don't have no issues with it. And the color is comfortable. It's not too pink. It is not too mauve. It's kind of like that rosy tone in between of those two. So I definitely think that this is a hit for me in my eyes. I really like the convenience of this product. I took it um, for my weekend getaway with my boyfriend recently, and I really enjoy just having this packaging it is so compact it does have a tiny mirror in here that you could use so nice however it is a smaller pans i know the powder products will probably last you much longer but the cream bronzer might run out a little bit faster especially if you use it on a daily basis but i think like this product is definitely a hit for me i think the quality is there and the packaging i love i've also been testing this turn up the base powder foundation from one size beauty and i absolutely love the packaging you guys i mean it is pretty it does have a mirror inside mine is in a shade a light to end this color definitely matches me really well it doesn't add too much color to my face i think i chose the right shade um however i did try using it under my eyes and it did darken my eye area so it's definitely matching my overall skin tone however it's not the powder for my under eye this powder gives you that like soft matte finish it's not uncomfortably matte formula it is very comfortable powder also what i wanted to say is that it is long wearing my makeup truly lasts the whole entire day you guys i do apply this with a brush however if you wanted to take it to another level you can pack your sponge with this and really just apply it with your sponge i don't use this as a powder foundation as you noticed i just prefer using it as a setting powder i have tested it as a powder foundation like it says it is and i just used a more condensed powder brush and i applied it on my face with just like a circular motion it definitely gave me more of like a smoothing like a filtered effect on my face i really like this better for my eyebrows i used the tint and tame brow gel from sigma and was in the shade light i really fell in love with this product it really just does what i need the brow tinted gel to do the packaging is super cute but it is perfectly tinted 
it definitely adds just the right amount of color and it does have a really nice hold when i would brush the hairs upwards that's where the hairs would stay and this is exactly what i need the product to do as you guys know i don't have a lot of brow hair i wasn't blessed with it if you have very sparse eyebrows i do have some microblading done on my eyebrows however i do have very thin and sparse eyebrow hairs and this is a saver for me. I really feel like this is right now the best product out of my whole entire eyebrow collection. I finish my eyebrows with this um, pencil by Urban Decay. This is a brow blade and I have a mine in the shade to trap. This is a repurchased item and it is not new. It was not a part of my Sephora haul. However, I did use it in this video. It will be linked for you down below. It's just a long, time favorite product a pencil on one side and it does have a very very skinny brush applicator on the other side that lets you do those hair like strokes to fill in the spaces and i really find it easier to draw the very tip of the wing for the eyebrow just to create that depth. And of course, we have to talk about the Natasha Denona Mini Nude Palette. This is my first palette from Natasha Denona brand. And I definitely went for just a very basic neutral shade without any specific or interesting color story. This is not a very original color story. It is very common. And I actually have a very interesting video to coming up on my channel very soon hopefully this week. In a way, it is a really nice quality. The shadows apply really easily. They blend really easily. It's a really nice pigment. There's a small amount of fallout with this duochrome shade. All the shimmer shades applied very nicely with the brush as well as with the finger. So I am very pleased with the quality. I can't say I was super blown away because I've heard so many things about Natasha Denona brand already in the past and I watched so many reviews and videos of people raving about the brand in general and the quality of eyeshadows. So my expectations were very, very high for the product. So when I actually ended up trying it, I did not expect any less but great. It met the expectations. To finish the makeup look today, I used the Professional uh, Super Setter Setting Spray and this is a deluxe size, you guys. I have been testing this uh, product for some time now, and this setting spray is uh, very much comfortable on skin. It has a really nice mister. It does set your makeup really nicely. It takes the powderiness away. It does make your makeup a last. However, it does not make your makeup smudge or transfer proof. I'm glad I purchased it in a smaller size because I don't think I will be purchasing it in a larger size because there are so many more affordable products that would do exactly the same thing. For my lips today, I did the tribute to Becca Cosmetics and I used this bullet lipstick in the shade C Belay. It's beautiful coral shade. This sums up my video today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. Let me know if you already purchased some of these items and tested them and let me know how you like them or if you're eyeing some of the product and if you like this video give it a big thumbs up and i hope you consider subscribing if you haven't done so already and uh, thanks so much for watching i will see you in my next videos bye